it's of recording. Time to use laundry, so he's just using that. <laughs> Does that I'm work not, though? Because sure. like well, I may have to try that. I'm not There's sure. A couple of my coworkers, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, I don't know which one's worse to smell. You know, like a human <laughs> being will smell like the breeze. You know, it's tough call. <laughs> well, what is that? That's the orange one. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's terrible. But what, it what looks like it oh, smells that's good. Thing, yeah. <laughs> it looks that like that it smells thing. good. Oh, are we, okay. are we gone? Yeah, we're on. Oh. We haven't had the time to do laundry, so we're just doing things because it's not like, yeah. Hawaiian Aloha. Uh, that's the Hawaiian one? Yeah. Oh, that smells like Hawaii. Well, I've never been to Hawaii, Hawaii so yeah, I'll just I spray that know. my way. Because that, you know, Hawaii smells like that, I never want to go. Oh, it smells like shit, I guess. Do you even go to Hawaii? It's so fucking Let's get started. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So you started your year very scarily. You had acute pneumonia. Yeah. Did you get to hallucinate at least? Pardon me? Did you at least get to hallucinate? Did you get anything? No, 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 no. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah. you know, that's a, I did enough uh, hallucinating in, back in my early days <laughs> as a rock and roller, so uh, I, was, I was spared this time around. No, no. Are you feeling better? Okay. You look okay. Uh, the, uh, well, you um, could look better. No, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Just teasing you. You look fine. After 20 gigs, yeah. Sure. <laughs> no, no, but, no, but it's, uh, you know, shit happens, you know. It was like, our guitar players broken a finger once and we had to cancel gigs and stuff happens, you know. You can, you know, walk down the street and somebody can drive you over and... Oh, that's, that's comforting. It. Thank you. No, but at the end of, at the, end of the day, you know, so, but, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, you know. Yeah, right. Well, you were sick, and then Gas hurt his hand. So, yeah, like, no. are we cursed? Is America cursed? No, we are cursed as bad. You're cursed. Yeah, it's not your fault. But maybe you're cursed here. You know what it is? I think it's because America's too into Jesus. So I think that's what it is. No, we're a religious, so Jesus doesn't have anything to do with us. We're not against or for him. Well, you, just so you know, there's a Christian band called For Him. Did you know that? Oh, that's good. <laughs> so at least at least you have that. Okay. So this is the first time that the band has self-published, right? What well, kind of? It's not self-publishing. If you mean the, the album, yeah. We did like a, what you call a licensing deal, which means that we we um we spent our own weekly allowances on recording the album, and producing it, and then made these licensing deals for different uh, labels to put the actual album out. So it's like halfway being there. So we didn't quite do everything by ourselves, but uh, nearly. Well, do you find that to be like a daunting responsibility, or is it better to have more control than uh, to have to sign We've always had control when it comes to music, so I don't think it's a, it's a problem because the point, you know, when, when you have a good, have a good relationship with a, with a record label, it means that you're trying to make an album that's better. Mm -hmm. they, their thing is to sell it, but they can't be sure what's going to sell. So at the end of the day, as a band, we just have to concentrate on making it sound as good as, pos as possible to our ears and then to the producers ears and, and uh, to the ears of our friends to whom we play old unfinished mixes and ask whether this is you Has know, anybody ever told enough. you it just sucked? Don't put that out there. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Did but, you put uh, it out anyway? <laughs> yeah, we have. Yeah, I'm not mentioning the, uh, the albums. It's <laughs> anyway. not just one album or song. It's half the career. Did but, you ever think um, an album sucked over there that you hated that they did? Uh, <laughs> no? You like everything? Well, I know you're very well, anti-commercial. Well, that's true. You did pay him to say that. That's true. <laughs> I know you're very anti-commercial. Do you think that artists get a little too caught up in making money versus making good art? Oh, I'm not anti-commercial. You're not anti-commercial? What would I be? Oh. Well, I don't know. What, You've always what? said you don't. You want it to be more about the art than money. Well, it's about we're well, musicians. We're not businessmen, so I don't know how to sell a T-shirt, but I know how to write a song. So I think it's way better for me to concentrate on songwriting. You know, everybody should concentrate on their own thing is there's only a few exceptions to prove the rule like let's say Gene Simmons who's been able to or Mick Jagger who's able to like kind of you know be in both worlds you know, the world of commerce and the world of yeah but, but and then fair, again if you think of like modern hip-hop you know it's all about commerce that's true you know, and so to be fair very like little art you know um, not I can't say that old would be like that but uh it's based on different values like, well yeah to be fair kids put themselves out there with the sole intention of just going big and that's what they say now, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that they will still need, uh, uh, they just wanted to rock out, which means to sweat, to make an impression, and, you know, to uh, rub their egos. So I don't think it was just about the dollar. It's yeah, just, uh, sure. uh, so it might have changed along the way. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, you know, Why at the end of it, I still... Why does it change? Uh, it's a good time, right? Well, I, I don't know, people have to be, yeah, I guess it's just a new hobby. You know, people have to get interested in new things. You know? Some people like cars. Like, whatever, I don't know. 
So he you collects think... vinyl. You know. <laughs> I collect vinyl. That's what I mean. You gotta have hobbies. <laughs> so you think it becomes a hobby? Like, oh, I like collect to collect money. really expensive cars. I'm gonna collect money now. Well, yeah, sure. It's because wow. somebody who had like, what was like 60 different Rolexes. It's just like, if you have the means to do so, why not? I can't really argue with that. That must be I'll nice. basically is collecting quarters. Quarters? Yeah. Do you collect oh, anything? Oh, in different states. I think he's gotten nearly all of them. So, all oh, right, because at one point they were doing all the different states yeah, at different that's places. It, that's it. Do you collect anything? Yeah, she collect anything. Uh, no, not really. Uh, I get into one thing at a moment, you know, in one moment of time, and then I get fixated on that for a while. You know, if I get fixated, let's say, in Brown Poe, then I need to get everything by in Brown Poe. Or then if I get excited by Dario Argento, the Italian horror movie director, then I need to get all of that sort of stuff. And then I'm, but kind of like move on And fast. then you get, you burn out on the one thing. Yeah. That's the next thing. It's just, yeah, it's very unhealthy, but uh, whatever. <laughs> Well, whatever. <laughs> what isn't unhealthy these days? Um, so your videos kind of follow. Can't like believe a... it's not butter. That's probably healthy. Exactly. Probably... <laughs> and you know what? God only knows what's freaking in there. So it's not rather eat the damn butter. Uh-huh. Okay, so your videos are sort of Aussie-like. Is that by design or is that just accident? Videos. Music videos. Yes. Oh, uh, we've done so many. We've done like 13 or 14 along the way. That's okay. been. They're very, very different from each other. And at times the band does have a say. At times no. And. Video is tough because even if you would know the director, it's so hard to describe a video before it's actually done. With all the like the color correction slash manipulation, if you use a green screen, all that stuff, lighting, uh, editing, especially, it's it's tough to say. It's like uh, as they say, as they say uh, in uh, at least in England, they say it's like buying a pig in a poke. So you don't know, yeah, so you know, don't know really what you're gonna get. So uh, it's not being intentional. Sense. What's your favorite part about doing a video? Which is the worst part about doing a video? Well, I think, you know, like, we did a video for some whole gun with Sin back in the day, and that was that was fun because, and then we did one for the funeral parts. It's nice when you do something outside and you get to a place where you've never been before. You know, we did, we done with Sin, the countryside of England, and fairly close to London, if I remember, um, but walking through these old graveyards and stuff, it was just nice because you never get to see stuff like that. Yeah. And then in Funeral parts. We uh, flew over to the ice, uh, the Arctic Sea, uh, to the border of Finland and Norway. And I was like rolling about there at uh, six o'clock in the morning, and it was like minus gazillion. So that's stuff you wouldn't do otherwise. So um, the, some of the, the odd experiences. And what's the worst part? What's the worst part? Um, well, love in our days. The fact that they're so expensive. At least they used to be. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a bit of, it's a bit of a gamble. You know, we've been kind of lucky, but it's still with a video you can't please everybody, which is terrible because it's, I remember we did a video for about the Wings of Butterfly and the budget was around like nearly half a million dollars. That was still the time when people put a lot of money into videos. Yeah. So um, it's a lot of money. It's like it's, it's like twice what we put into recording an album, which is three and a half minutes of blanking. You know, it's just <laughs> it's odd, and then you don't. But you know, in that case, you know, people seem to enjoy it and it fit the moment and everything worked fine. But uh, it's a bit daunting at times. Well, you actually compared being in the studio once to being running a kindergarten, which I can I can see where that would be the case. But yeah. why would you? What what makes it like a kindergarten? Is it getting everybody organized? Yeah, but it's, uh, at the same time, I guess that uh, there is the perverse uh, enjoyment of seeing people just free, especially adults in our case, you know, yeah. that we can be like kids in a candy store, you know, just experimenting and then having a blast and having, you know, stupid inside and jokes going on and, and, and uh, forgetting about the everyday drab, gray, outside world type of thing. So, you know, that's being creative or, or, or creating whatever it might be, um, that's what it is in this case, it's just forgetting this shit and it's just, um, you know, letting your imagination run wild. Absolutely. Yeah, one more it. question. Okay. Um, regarding the Greatest Hits album, you mentioned that the band didn't have a lot of say over Which what one? got on there. For, for, because for we have several. Um, two uh, decades of talking about. Well, we did. Well, we did have a say. But we, you know, but what I probably, if I have said that we didn't have a say, it means that we don't kind of have a choice. Because if you want to make it best off, it means that it's going to be the singles. Right. More or less. And then at the end of the day, it's still the age of CD, which means that it's like 77 minutes is the max. And we've done eight albums now, so it's really tough to pick songs. You know, because obviously the bands and then, let's say, the hardcore fanatic 
fans, you know, they seem to enjoy the other, the B side sort of stuff. Yeah. And, 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 but you can have like Sleepwalk and Pass Over take half an hour, you know, on a, on a compilation. And then uh, at the same time, you know, at the same token, the, um, the, the you know, compilation is an introduction. So the more you can, the more you can fit in the merrier, I think. So it might change. I don't know what the iTunes rules are. If you're making, uh, if you're making a hits compilation, you put like a hundred songs on a, on, a, on a compilation, so it's ten bucks. That'd be great. Well, you managed to get Strange World on there, so that was the band having yeah, we, some you know, control. Want to, right? Yeah, but we had control on, on everything and all the edits, and uh, the, okay. I did all the uh, sequencing and the artwork, and uh, well, I didn't do the, uh, the photography, but the whole conceptual stuff. And, so we're always very involved because, especially with um, compilations, usually they're really cheap. And we try to avoid it if it's possible, you know, to include something that hasn't been released before or is tough to get. So that's the reason for the, uh, the, the XX, the two decades of whatnot. And normally um, you would handle all the photography? Well, I've, I've done bits myself, but I'm, I'm shit at it. So uh, we, we, we just, uh, <laughs> it's depending on the concept. But uh, so anyway, I think it's important just to. Yeah, we use a lot of radio audits that haven't been available in Europe. That's mean like just for radio only uh, in America and stuff like that. And then a couple of mixes that haven't been able, uh, uh, available before. So that was the way of making it a bit different. Uh, and not excluding songs like Better Love, Love Love or Join Me in Death or whatever, which we can't kind of exclude, even if we wanted to. Which Is there song. like ever a song that the, band, that the fans really want to get you get tired of playing? Uh, that we would get tired of playing. No, it depends on the audience reaction. I think you know, it's um, I think there's always a there's always a new spice each and every night. You know, depending how the location looks and how the audience looks and right. how it sounds, and I think that all affects the overall vibe. So the, the song in itself keeps on changing as well. It kind of like sheds the skin every night. You know, in general, organs are the skeletal structure is the same, but uh, <laughs> the rest keeps on so changing. So they tell us. Uh -huh. So how about the discount from your dad's store? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Got a coupon for me? Well, yeah, I'll just go in there and mention my name. <laughs> you should do fine. <laughs> okay, thank you very yeah, much for your time. No worries. Pleasure. Right, I'm going to